Yes, I'm wearing a toque and my extensions. It's like the easiest way to do your hair. I don't even style my real hair. I just slap on the extensions, which are halo extensions. It's one piece, there's no clips. I just brush them out, put a toque on. Now that the weather has cooled off though, expect this look a lot. So I'm gonna interject here because I was blabbing so much during this vlog. It was just like a talking head vlog and I'm about to go start some art. So how about instead I just put the talking head stuff over top of the art stuff so you have something to listen to while watching the art portion. So it's not related to the art, it's just like a regular vlog, but also art visuals. Also, we have an emergency on our hands regarding the advent calendar. So I got a message from the manufacturer last night and it was like some flat printouts of the box and it was like, okay, Here's like the gold foil, here's how it looks with glossy lamination, and here it looks with matte lamination, like what do you prefer? And I was like, wait, what? He's asking me what kind of lamination I want? These were supposed to be shipping out right now. First of all, when I ordered them, I already said I wanted glossy, but when he showed me both in a video, I was like, ooh, I really like matte lamination, so I chose that, but Previously, he told me that they'd be ready to ship on October 25th, and yesterday was the 26th, so I thought he was going to message me being like, they're ready to ship out now. No, they're, he, he said, okay, we'll start production now. And I was like, huh? Now? I thought they were done now. No, they're just starting. I mean, obviously, there's like the process of like planning it all out, but like, they're just going into mass production now. So basically it took two months to finalize the sample. <laughs> and honestly, I'm not really mad at the manufacturer. I'm mad, mostly mad at myself for not getting this process started sooner. But like I came up with the idea late. Plus then I was working on a different store update. So I couldn't even start on the advent calendar right away. But I regret not starting the box immediately. Like as soon as I got the advent idea, I should have made the box, although you kind of got to know what you're putting in it before you can make the box, but anyway, you know, hindsight's 2020, but I'm just like, ah! so, uh, my timeline is now skewed because I was, I was kind of guesstimating when the boxes would get here based on the October 25th shipping date. So I guess I don't need to do 300 per day, <laughs> technically 300 items because I now have more time than I thought I would. Probably have at least an extra two weeks. So if you were hoping to open it up on the 12 days leading up to Christmas, it's not it's not gonna happen. Like maybe for Americans, maybe because they get the fastest shipping, but like there's gonna be people who don't get it till January probably because of international shipping times. Plus like it's the holidays. Like We're already backed up in terms of mail because of COVID. And now on top of that, there's Christmas. Like postal companies have been saying that they've had Christmas levels of packages since COVID because so many people are ordering online and now we're just throwing actual Christmas on top of that. So shipping times are gonna be nuts. And like, let's say I open the store at the very end of November, let's say November 30th or something. It would still take me a while to package them all and get them mailed out and brought to the post office. So some people's stuff might not even be in the mail until December. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what I get for not delaying this another year. Like I was just so excited about it. I was like, I'm trying for this year. I'm gonna try to get an advent calendar out this year. And I mean, I guess it will be out this year, just not in time for Christmas or anything. Luckily it's not Christmas themed at all. None of the items are Christmas items. The box is not Christmas themed in the slightest. In fact, it says something on the back about enjoying 12 days of Bailey J any time of the year. So technically, that still works. <laughs> I'll have them for sale this year, but will you receive it this year? This is why I won't commit to a date. I keep telling people I'm not gonna commit to a date till I have the boxes. This is exactly why. We're now delayed another two weeks from when I thought I would have the boxes. So, and I'm just assuming two weeks. I'm gonna take them three weeks, I don't know. I'm kind of just basing it off past conversations. And I did ask the manufacturer for an estimate. I'm just kind of waiting to hear back now because you know, time zones are weird. So I'm waiting to hear back on an estimate, but even then I still can't commit to a date because who knows if there's gonna be further delays. And maybe there's gonna be delays with the delivery too, like you never know. So this is why I will not commit to a date 
until I have those boxes in hand. Because once I receive the boxes, it's gonna take me at least a week to stuff all the boxes and I have to do all like the photos and the listings and calculate all, out all the different shipping options for different countries and stuff. Like it's gonna, it's gonna take a while. It gives me more time to package everything. I can't slow down too much. Yesterday I did really well because I caught up for the pins I did not prep on Sunday. Plus I did a bit more on top of that, thanks to Christian. <laughs> and today so far I've done 200 Penelope pins. I did that during the live stream earlier. So technically I have another 100 left to do today if I'm sticking to my pin quota. But with these delays I don't necessarily have to. Can maybe switch my quota to 200 per day? <laughs> So that's where we're at with the advent calendar stuff. So now I'm like, oh, am I gonna do something different? I was kind of hoping to get done the pins pretty quickly today so that I could then do something else. So we're kind of in that boat, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's still late-ish. My stream ended at three and I wanted to get 200 dur done during the stream, so that was perfect. Cause it takes me about two hours to do 100 pins. So four hour stream, 200 pins. And it's been an hour since then. Well, more than that, I guess, now, because I've been blabbing. But I took an hour to make some food. Well, I just left, warmed up leftovers from last night. And I ate those, kind of just chilled, browsed Reddit, replied to YouTube comments, that sort of thing. So, yeah. So now, what am I doing? What am I doing? I forgot to do the cash-in calendar in the last vlog. I have unholy relations with this dog nearly every day and yes i was fixed as a kid <laughs> running purpose and for today my mommy is a very busy high schooler who rescued me from a box in the woods i like to thank her by not letting her get her schoolwork done while i'm asleep and crying if she does it while i'm awake i read that weird but yeah my baby way Oh wait, unless two came out. I thought it went under your butt. You know what? I know exactly what I'm in the mood to do and it's watch more episodes of Bly Manor, but it's a show I'm watching with Christian, so I can't watch it till he do is off work and he's working the late shift, so he's not off till eight. And even then he might want to play his video games for a bit or something, I don't know. So I'm like, well, Bailey, you can do something else in the meantime for the next few hours, but I'm just tired. Part of me's tempted to play Pokemon, to be honest. See, I feel guilty though. I've only put in five hours of active work hours today because there was the vlog edit. It was a shorter vlog, so it only took me an hour today. And then I did the four hours of pin packaging. So my brain is like, you need at least three more to make it eight hours. And I'm like, well, you don't need to. You're, that's the perks of working from home is you can just kind of do whatever you want within certain limits. But like, I kinda wanna play Pokemon. I've been playing the Crown Tundra DLC. Well, I played it once on Friday during the game stream and I haven't touched it since. I'm really, really liking it. I like it more than the Isle of Armor DLC. And I really like those, the Max Raid layers, or what is it called? Like the, the Raid layer thingy. I really like it and I really want a Shiny Hunt in there too. But I think I should complete my decks because I don't have the Shiny Charm yet and it would be kinda nice to get the Shiny Charm. I think the other thing I want to do is play with my new camera, but it's not going to be here till Thursday, so I have to not obsess over it in the meantime. I'm just daydreaming about it. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go in the living room and turn on all the Halloween lights. I need to enjoy them a little bit more before Halloween's over. It's still light outside, but it's, a, it's an overcast day, so this works. Here's how it looks this way with the new lights hung up. Yeah. Pumpkin's not on because he's too noisy. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I have the new puck lights in my pumpkin. Looks so much better. Or does it? It's all blurry. <laughs> yeah, puck lights. The construction noises are ruining my vibe here. Just gonna drown it out with Netflix noises. Oh goodness, I have a little cuddle buddy now. Oh, yes. Oh, my sweet. Oh, my sweet little baby. 
So about the art, I just, I couldn't help myself looking at these beautiful lights and things. It made me think of a YouTuber background, like, Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a love potion. I don't know, just like, I was getting vibes from the lights and candles, so I had to incorporate that into a drawing. It's a YouTuber witch girl, and I wanna have the orange lights in it too, so. There are some dangly things in the background that are string lights. There might be some scattered across the table behind her, I'm not sure. So you're getting this one last Halloween drawing out of me. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna work on it anymore today though. I kinda wanna get in a bit of Pokemon. I'm watching a um, shiny hunting stream, so I just, I need to get in some Pokemon. And then later, Bly Manor. <laughs> Oh, so spooky. So spooky. Spooky. Tweet of my art that was posted first, three retweets. Video of Kiki that was posted after, five retweets. Excuse me, little Keek. Oh, you think you're so Twitter famous now, huh? You think you're so Twitter famous? Oh, you think you're the queen and my art is the lowly peasant, huh? Yeah. Is that what you think there, Kiki? Look at her acting so blasé. Not a care in the world, huh? Just look in your toes. This is my dex right now. It's pretty pitiful. This is my character right now. Ugh, such a pretty region, but I'm gonna get out of here for the deck stuff. I'll show you my league card. <laughs> Three, six, nine. Damn, she mine. I love the offended pose. Uh, There's the back. Gone... Curry decks, three kinds of curry. Woo! Uh, <laughs> Sad. But look how many shinies. That includes evolutions, but still. Oh, look. She's up to nine retweets now. Hmm? Huh? You think you're so cute, don't you? Wait, the middle evolution is called Thwacky? <laughs> what? How come I never knew that? I knew Raboot. Thwacky. Oh. My god. Wait, you need to turn the lights on for this. Ew, that's a pretty big spider. He's kind of curled up right now. That must have been what Midna was trying to get earlier. Yeah, you were trying to attack something. I don't know which one you got it, but good babies. Good girls. Eesh. Save mummy from the gross spiders. It's time to watch Bly Manor, woo! It's time to ditch the headgear. <gasps> oh yeah. Well, it's two more episodes down. I just wanna keep watching it. We are off to bed, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thief! Okay, well don't actually rip it open. Do you want an empty one to play with? Yeah, there you go.